music lovers and welcome back to the woodshed. So this past week I got called to do some session work on mandolin and some various utility parts. I decided to document the process from arriving at the studio to meeting the artist that I'm going to be playing on the record, uh, the producer, getting his opinions, miking up the instrument, getting the takes and all the process in between on basically a day in the life of a hired gun. So sit back, relax and check out the perspective from a session player. Roll it. Okay, this episode of The Woodshed is brought to you by The Woodshed Guitar Experience. The Woodshed Guitar Experience is a three-day event held in lovely Lake Francis, Tennessee, about an hour outside of Nashville. It's three days of jamming, lessons, tuitions, summer camp for guitar nerds, right? The lineup is awesome. We've got Robin Ford, Brent Mason, Andy Timmons, Mark Letary, Greg Cock, Larry Basilio, as well as some very special guests. So jump over to woodshedguitarexperience.com and sign up today and we'll see you there. Hello music lovers, going into the studio down here at Lakeside Studios today. Opening the door. Thought it'd be cool to kind of give you a walkthrough of what it's like to track some mandolin. I think I'm tracking some mandolin and some ganjo today. Here's one of the control rooms. Kind of a big room. He's got uh, drums kind of always set up. Organ. And then this can be a live room too, which is cool. And then on into like the foyer. Several rooms for tracking on each side. And then main control room. Let's go in here and take a look. And we got some folks in here. How are you doing? What up? What hello, up? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, YouTube. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> so these are the walls and stuff. We're going to track some mandolin and some ganjo, I think. And, uh, you know, we'll let you know from there how the stuff goes. He draws me home but how can a dead man come who can wash away all of my sin? Oh, sorry. Who can make these dead bones leave again? Jesus. Nice. In the control room, here's Travis. Hello. He's going to set my mic. I'm going uh, to control the room. Control the mic. We've got a chord chart. And some, uh, I got a little stand. Yeah. So this is how I can take a look at what he's telling me. So if there's cues to the song, I just heard the song for the first time about four minutes ago. Now we're going to track it. Little game called Make It Sound Like You've Played It a Million Times. And, uh, Nice dead room, little shotgun mic, let him set what he likes, and uh, yeah. All right, so now let's track some mandolin, shall we? Some headphones here. And uh, off we go, right? Get in here on the mando. Ah. Probably do a little less on the headphones. Yeah, you can bring the headphones down just a touch, just a smidge. Oh, yeah, yeah. It come down. You can, br you can bring her down about a decibel and a half. Yeah, that's better. You uh, tell me when you like the angle of the mandolin. You want it farther away? Um, about, about a 14, 14 inches. Is 
No, 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 there's nothing on the stand. Yeah, that's that's good. No more, no more on the microphone. So eleven minutes later, we've got what we need. Time for a little ganjo. Let's see if this microphone placement works for you. Yeah, it does. So is this mic placement good? No, not without knocking it sharp. What'd you do, just squeeze it more? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. You let me know if you want it more on the high strings. So double on that one. Give me all the chords. Yeah, give me all the double one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing the tune out of order is messing my head up. Crazy cross picking banjo. <laughs> yeah, it's super hard. All right, so let's get the punches. We count like this one, two, three, four, dun, dun, diddle, da, bada, da, bada, da, bada. Appreciate it. All right, we've been in for a couple of hours, knocked out some tunes. Our artist is super happy, right? I yeah, am super right. duper happy. <laughs> Uh, producer's happy. Very happy. I'm happy. Some ganjo, some mandolin, and uh, it's cool to have you guys uh, actually in my woodshed, away from the woodshed, you know, doing the thing. So, uh, this is cheers. This a day job. Yeah, it's a day <laughs> job, right? So, cheers, and uh, we'll see y'all next week. Peace.
Thanks for hanging out this week in the woodshed. I hope you enjoyed the episode. So if you're looking for exclusive content, and things you can't get for free on the internet, maybe you're looking for lesson videos, a weekly live Zoom masterclass that I host, access to our private Discord server, tabs, backing tracks, fractal Axe Effects patches. All of that stuff can be found at my Patreon, patreon.com slash andywoodmusic. That's where you can find all that exclusive content. All right, if you're looking for bookings, you want to contact me, join my email list. That's andywoodmusic.com. That's where you'll find my music, my albums, videos, things like that. You'll also find my store there where I sell True Fire classes, Jam Track Central courses. I have bundles based around my songs. For instance, you could buy the Junktown bundle that's got the tone for the Axe Effects, the backing track, and the transcription. So go ahead and jump over to andywoodmusic.com if you're interested in any of that. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys real soon.